Okay, the next part is to actually weave the dream catcher. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a knot, just like you're tying your shoes at the top here with the string. We're gonna wrap it around once, and then we're gonna wrap it around a second time in order to get it started. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and start the weaving part. We're gonna start out by loosely wrapping the string around the hoop, maybe five times or so. Okay, you want it to be kind of loose because we're gonna use those strings later when we actually go to weave. I'm gonna scoot this up, I want one here, one there, kind of like you would points of a star. One to the side, two at the bottom, and maybe one more to the side, and then one at the top, okay? After we have that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we're gonna find where those loops hang down. And we're gonna take the end of our string and push it down through that loop. Okay, and then we're gonna pull. Now, the next one, see where it comes down here? I'm going to take my string, I'm pulling it through the middle of the dream catcher, and I'm going to pull this down and put the end of the string through, like that. And then I'm going to pull it all the way to the back. Make sure you're pulling it all the way through. Then I'm going to reach through. Once I've got it all the way through to the back, I'm going to reach through and pull it to the front again. Okay, and I want to pull it through so that I have it ready to go. I have that string ready to go through the next section. So I'm gonna pull that down and I'm gonna put the end through and pull it all the way through to the back again. Then I'm gonna reach through and pull it to the front. I'm gonna find the next section, put my string through and pull it all the way to the back and I can pull it to the front. Okay, this is the last loop that I have here strung on this side. So I'm gonna put my string through, pull it all the way to the back, and then I'm gonna pull it through the front. And now I'm gonna start going around a second time. Okay, so where it hangs down here, I'm gonna put that end of the string through here and pull it all the way through. I'm gonna do the same thing when I go around again, but this time, instead of looking for the loop that hangs down, I'm gonna find this open space here. So I'm gonna put the string through the open space and pull. Whoops, what happened there? Didn't get it. That's what happens when we don't go all the way through. Gotta make sure you do that. Okay, so. We're gonna find this, pull it through. It's almost gonna look like a triangle. Okay, see how it kinda of looks like a triangle there? You're gonna put it through the bottom of the triangle, but don't forget, like I did last time, don't forget to pull that through to the front. Okay, now, here's the triangle, so I'm gonna push that through, and we're just gonna keep going with this. Those triangles are gonna get smaller and smaller as you weave that's gonna be the opening that you put it through every single time is that triangle. This one is kind of pulled tight. I gotta open it up. I'm gonna put the string through and then I'm gonna go 